Jags, it's Gianna here bringing you At Home with CJTV. Today is Thursday, February 25th, 2021. We'll start the show off with Giselle who's going to teach you how to make floral letters. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY floral letter. For this project, I'm using artificial flowers, a pencil, a box cutter, two thumbtacks, ribbon, a hot glue gun, and a foam board. The first thing you want to do is trace out your letter with your pencil. Afterwards, cut it with your box cutter. Now glue the flowers to your foam board according to how you want it to look. Last, glue the ribbon to the center of your letter. Then add the thumbtacks for reinforcement. lovely. And now, Bailey will tell you some fun facts. Hello, my name is Bailey and I will be teaching you some fun facts. The only letter that doesn't appear in any U.S. state's names is the letter Q. A cow-bison hybrid is called a beefalo. Scotland has 421 words for snow. Some examples are snaw, sneasel, and teal. No number before a thousand contains the letter A. Octopi lay 56,000 eggs at a time. Wow, those are very interesting. And now Tony will tell you the reason why we need math. Alright, many people might say that math sucks. And I, and I agree with that, but math, but without math... We wouldn't have, you know, all these great stuff, great things like computers or video games and stuff. So, let's count down ten good reasons why math is important. One, learning math is actually good for your brain. Because right? math is just brain exercise. You know, you, you um, solve problems and you have to train your brain what to do in these situations. Math helps you tell time, right? Obviously, that's something we all need to know. We need to know when, if we have, like, an important appointment at, like, 4.20 p.m. or something, stuff like that. Um, math helps you with your finances. Now, obviously, kids don't have to deal with finances, but if, you, if you're good at math, obviously, um, you won't have trouble with taxes at all when you're older. Math can help you be a better cook. Um, obviously you need to measure ingredients and stuff, like you need 59 milliliters of flour for, um, a muffin or something. Um, math helps us have better problem solving skills, and this is true. Um, we, instead of like, just use an example, let's say 50,000 years ago, um, in the caveman times, without math, right? Cavemen probably would have gotten a rock and smashed the door instead of, you know, opening it. But with math, we learn how to be better, better problem solvers. So instead of bashing through the door with a rock, we could just turn the, to the, turn the doorknob and bam, we're through. Six, practically every career uses math in some way. And this is true because, you know, if you're an accountant, you have to calculate stuff and... Janitors probably don't need math, so if you don't like math, you should probably become a janitor. Math is all around us and helps un us understand the world better. Um, this is true because, you know, computers obviously make the world better. Uh, eight, math can make you more popular. Now, being a math nerd can make you more popular um, in certain circumstances, though. Math can also help you shop for a good sale. Um, it could help you differentiate a bad price from a good price. So let's say a bag of jelly beans is like $2,000 at one store and like 50 cents on another. Which one would you choose? Obviously the 50 cent one. And math is universal language because everybody understands numbers and, uh, yeah. Thank you, Tony. Glad I know that now. And that just about wraps it up for today's show. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for another show. 
And remember, stay safe, Jags. Bye.